All right, we've had about four days in a row, and yesterday we had a very tiny bit of rain, but you can see that that river that I had going through here finally stopped, and it got dry in the last four or five days. You can see that. I almost got stuck, well, right there cutting the grass with the tractor, but uh, I've been tearing this garden down. I'm about to take all this fencing down wrap it up stash it away from where and this was just nothing but 100 percent a failed a failed garden i mean not 100 percent but 98 percent you can kind of see a few of the roma tomatoes that were still trying and uh i mean they still had tomatoes trying see them little ones like that right there so I dug the peppers up out of here and I'm, I'm gonna transplant them. There's another pepper right there. I'm gonna dig that one up and transplant that somewhere, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. This tomato bush has still kind of got some life in it. I might do a cuttings off of there and see if I can get them to take and uh, put them in this place that I'm gonna grow them. Anyway. This, this was so bad. This was terrible. It was a terrible, terrible area to garden. Just too much water. I need to raise this whole area up another probably foot and a half, which would take an enormous amount of dirt. Now I can get it, but I'm not going this route anymore. I'm going something else. That's all my stuff. I gotta pick all of this up, but I'm going to come show you something I was doing over here with compost piles. Uh, this right here, I am going to take this out, this little fenced-in area, but for this, for the time being, I'm going to use it. Oh, but I got okras growing here and they doing all right. I finally got to come in here and cultivate. Finally. And I got some... I, my mom told me that was coochie squash. I don't know what that is. Coochie? Uh, really? That's not my name. Okay. And here we go. We got Olympia cucumbers. I replanted cucumbers to try and do that again. They look like they're taking off. I got to put some fertilizer down. But here the okras look like... They're gonna take off in here. And then uh, the green onions, of course they doing great. They I spread them out and did a whole big row of them. Look at the size of these blackberries that's growing right here. They look like holy hell, but I gotta, uh, I gotta, I'm gonna have to, I, bury, I transplanted this thing like 10 times. It loves it right here, but I'm gonna have to move it again. And I got another one over there I gotta move. But what I'm going to do is propagate off of this one. I'm going to try and do probably 9 or 10 cuttings off of it. And uh, see if I can propagate this. But I'm going to come show y'all what I'm what I'm getting ready to do today. Oh, well. Start. I've already started it. But I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. All right, what I got here is uh, this is hardy board backer board, and I want to make five by two and a half raised beds. And from this side, I'm gonna make a hoop with a cattle panel coming to another one right here, and have an archway in between them. And I'm gonna set up ten of them, but it's gonna be five pairs five pairs going down this run right here based off of how that works i'll have another set i could do down there but this is going to be high garden until i make the high tunnel i'm gonna do a little bit in ground gardening still but i'm not gonna go bazonkas with that in ground garden anymore that's too hard it's not too hard it's not going to give me the food i need every year while I'm at this point, maybe later on, maybe 
when I when I don't have to work a, a you know a job, a public job so much, I'll be able to keep up with the in ground garden. But for now, I'm gonna get these set up. That back of board should last me forever. Well, not forever, but for a long time. And I'm gonna use. You're gonna see how I design it. I got it in my mind how I'm gonna do it. And uh, I'm gonna make it to where I can bust them down if I ever need to bust them down. So. It's going to be a while before I get all this up because I'm going to do it one at a time and it's hot. It's freaking damn hot. It's like heat index is in the hundreds. I know that. Way in the hundreds. I'm sweating so bad. Anyway, that's all I got to say for right now. What I wanted to say is look how good these peppers are doing since I put them in these buckets from that garden. They took off. Look at that. Beautiful peppers. Beautiful. I can't wait to put those in those raised beds. That's the first thing I'm putting in them raised beds. And look, here's some uh, crepe myrtles. Look how pretty those things are. I dug them up off of the ground out of my camp. And uh, I'm going to make nice trees for over here to plant. That's going to be nice. And look, that Thai basil came back. It was almost dead. It was dried up. A little water. Beautiful. Put that in the, uh, in the raised beds along with this buddy over here that I saved. It, it turned out good, too. I love Thai basil. And look, these peppers from, these two, these are going two years old now. Almost two years, a year and a half. They were last year's peppers. Look how pretty. Nice. Nice. Tons of jalapeno peppers on there. Two plants, all the jalapeno peppers I could ever want. Two plants. In pots. In pots. And chamber bitters. I gotta get rid of that. I gotta clean up around here, but I'll get it done. I just got a teenage daughter that keeps me busy i mean hopping across the country so i'll talk to y'all later okay so what i'm doing here is i'm making double raised beds and i'm gonna have an archway in between them and i'm gonna use cattle panels to make the archway see a cattle panel right there the cattle panels are about uh 50 inches wide so about 50 51 inches wide and uh, so the way I make these, I'm doing this to specs that I can use to make this the right way. So I took some one by fours, or really one by sixes that I ripped, cut them 62 inches, and it should be close to 62 inches. Yeah, 60. Yeah. <laughs> 62 inches. That one was a little bit long, bad cut. But so 62 inches, and then I take the side ones and I cut those 31 inches. A little bit less than 31 inches. The reason I, it's, it's 30 and a half, really, about 30 and a half. And the reason I'm doing that is for the, the overlap. See how the overlap of the party board is. So that's painted hardy boards, and I got uh, landscape timbers cut to 24 inches. So these, each one of these hardy boards, I cut in half, and they're 36 inches. So that's 18 inches. I got it upside down, but huh. got it to 18 inches and rip it all the way down and you get a piece like this should be 18 inches so the 18 inches high and then put each one of them is one length of hardy board long five five foot and then i cut i'll cut this board in half right here to make the sides which is half of five foot which is of course and a half foot so if you look at that two and a half foot so two foot six inches so the way you put this together so I go ahead and make the holes in the ground and I would measure this board from an end 62 inches so 31 inches is in the center. See the mark I have? And then 
to get the 50 inches that I want to have for the to have these posts sticking up to hold the cattle panels 25 inches from that center line to the side and put those into the ground 25 inches from the center line to there and I tie them into there so the holes going into the ground are 50 inches apart and uh that'll more than adequately let me put the the uh cattle panels in between so you see i have one up i mean the, these aren't to, like specs of house tolerances i could have banded i was i'm i'm trying to save material here a little bit too i could have banded the bottom and uh made them a lot tighter but i don't see a need for that if it kicks out a little bit a little water can run in and out right there that's fine that it's not sealed i even had it crack right there a little piece of it crack it's going to be fine and uh look this one's even look a little out of pump but it's going to be fine this is not building structural things uh like a house or anything it's just a garden a raised bed garden so i'm putting this together and i knew the bottoms would kick out a little bit the contour the land lean so i'm not leveling each one out to uh be the same height as each other they're just going to follow the contour of the land the land slopes down towards this way so it's just going to follow that who cares i don't care it's going to look good in the end it's going to grow great gardens what i'm doing is cutting up wood to fill in some of the bottoms that'll start rotting and all of that it's already a year into decomposition but i also put some that's further along that's much more decom decomposed in there to fill in a lot a large volume of the area and then i put a scoop of something like that over there that compost heap and i put that on the bottom it's still in that's still in a stage of decomposition and then at the very top i put what is de definitely gardening soil it's <clears throat> very rich uh organic soil it's been decomposing it's composted uh for a long time it's it's ready to go so um gonna be ready to plant i'm gonna put my peppers that i got over there that i've been putting in i'm gonna put a few of these in there for the rest of this year and then when the fall garden comes on i'll i'll go ahead and put fall garden crops in here and the reason i'm doing a trellis like that is for growing like running things like uh, uh cucumbers maybe pole beans sometime and it as it grows over it'll actually help shade the undergrowing things like tomatoes and peppers and whatever else i have in here from the the treacherous midday sun i mean I, of course the cucumbers and whatever i'm growing will take it but whatever you know we'll see how that works if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't this is outdoor growing and we're gonna see how it goes i think this is gonna work just fine uh and it's uh, a new way of growing for me but uh my dad when i was younger did raised bed garden he did actually something called square foot gardening that he used to love and that worked man we grew stuff oh my god it worked like a charm but this is a little bit more of that on steroids because these are a lot bigger higher the volume is going to be able to contain a lot more it's going to it's just going to be nice i think and what i'm going to do is go down the row and I'm gonna, if these work and i'm going to make two more right there it's going to have four i'd like to have 10 going that way if those work then i'll put uh, 10 more on the side and have you know 20 plenty plenty of growing area all right y'all all right y'all i got this one built i just gotta fill it in i ain't done nothing yet with it but i got it together so now you can see how my in my vision is with the archway to uh put things you know you, you put them you put things too close they're gonna grow through but that's all right you know i'm on like two rows of like tomatoes or something you know if they start poking through or you know but this side will be able to grow real tall you'll even be able to run strings or something to do uh some trellis and us you know stringing them up and uh we'll see how it works if it doesn't work i'll just take the the arches off the cattle panel but uh, I think that I'm thinking that's gonna work. I'm thinking that I mean 
tomato plants that get this high whoo I mean I could trellis them and start having them hang I've seen that before many times and you let them hang but even if they got up in the here you know this high that's that's three foot at least or more so that uh, that'll be that'll be just fine um, yeah I'm happy you know plant a row of cucumbers on the back way in the back tomato tomato and let them get real crowded I think I could fit one maybe one two three four five probably five tomato plants in there if I stagger them but you know they're gonna be crowded and I've always done well with crowding tomatoes so people can say oh no 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 that's only good for maybe three maybe even two sometimes nah I am <laughs> I can load them up so yeah all right just gotta I'm gonna put a cut a little bit of that wood up and put it in here and let it be on the bottom but uh yeah it's it's gonna work I hope it's gonna work all right y'all thanks for watching all right I'm building these uh, beds I got two up I built two for a neighbor he comes over it's a young guy he's a real nice guy He's uh, living with his mom and dad while he's going to college. And me and him have got to be a couple good friends and stuff like that. So I built two for him. And I'm on my third one right here for me. Uh, I put this one in here. That, that Thai basil was looking so bad. So that's another Thai basil right there looking good. But it was looking so bad. And I had lost it, almost lost it a number of times. So I decided to put it in here. You can't tell, but that thing looks so nice now. And I'm going to put these peppers in these gardens. I'm going to let them finish out the year here. And then when they, when the winter comes, I'm going to dig them up. And I'm going to put them back in here and put them in that little greenhouse to overwinter. These are some peppers I did that with last year. And look how good they look. This, this is peppers from last year that I overwintered. Look how pretty them jalapeno peppers are. Beautiful, huh? beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and put some wood in there I like to put wood in the bottom and uh, that'll decompose that's some old Tupelo wood all right what I have in here is I'm gonna put those little stumps that takes up room and I'm gonna put some more I'll get branches and twigs and stuff throughout the property and I'll put it in there and then I'll take a scoop off of that pile over there. Let's see. Is this recording? Yeah. Okay. My finger hit that thing. So I'm going to put a scoop of that compost in here. And then the topsoil that you see in these. That beautiful, beautiful, just perfect gardening so that's mulch you know just mmm that smells so good that smells so good all right y'all that's it for right now what I have over here is hardy backer boards I'm painting them and I'm getting ready to flip these over and paint the other side I got two coats on this side but this is uh just these regular hardy backer boards and each two of them, uh, three of them make two gardens and they cost fifteen dollars a piece for that hardy backer board huh? so, yeah that's two more gardens fifteen dollars a piece so about forty five dollars for that and landscape timber and then screws, paint, and I ripped these 16 foot boards to make the, the the wraps. Like it's really one by threes now. But uh I could make bottom and top ones, but I don't do that. Anyway, I'm just trying to show y'all a little bit how I'm doing this. I think they're coming out really well. 
in the end it's going to be a real pretty show and it's going to be a lot of place to grow a lot of food a lot of a lot of food's going to get grown there uh i'm not abandoning growing in my in my ground it's just going to take years to amend this ground over here because this ground is so nutrient poor it's going to take years to get it right and I am going to get it right. I'm going to garden in ground. And I'm going to garden in these raised beds. And I'm going to garden in high tunnel. So we'll see how things go along the way. Hopefully people that are subscribing and seeing what I'm doing are going to are gonna start learning, you know. Uh, I need to. This is some of that stuff I picked up throughout the yard. I'm going to go jump in there. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye. All right, I got enough bramble in there wood and stuff so I'm gonna go get this the mulch now Spread that out and then I'm gonna put some topsoil on it. Yeah, I can put 
that in the that pile. I can put that in there right now, but this is the old one. So this is the uh, basically this is cotton soil. and pick a couple of the weeds that I got in here they can chamber bitters you can't get rid of them around here but hopefully in this uh, raised beds I'll be able to get rid of that a little bit better and get, well, even at this young age you can see the seeds starting to form on the on the uh, on the sides, that's just, oh, that stuff takes over everything. No weeds in there. Get them out as much as I can, but I'll be able to control weeds in here real easy. See? See those seeds? Chamber bit as a, a, a plague. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, gotta get these. Look at that. Like a snake. Some roots. Stand and decompose, but. Oh, that's some fertile dirt there. Whew, it's got a little bit of everything in there. Alright. Alright, yeah. Let it rain on it for a few days, it'll settle down. It'll be right the Another one of them big old boys. Got a lot of them in there. So, there it is. Three beds. I'm gonna put up, the ultimate goal is to have 20 of them. So, I'll have that, I'll probably have that. If I keep working like this, I'll have them. I'm gonna have, I'll have seven of them by next week. It ain't gonna take me long. My limitation is how much mulch I'm gonna have. Cause I'm actually filling up two more beds that ain't mine that I, I'm doing for a neighbor. So I told you about that. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.